Welcome back to your weekly video announcements, Hornets. I'm Kaylee Conradi. And I'm Missy Molina. First things first, we'd like to applaud our football team on yet another win. Yeah, we really put the beating down on campus before and after the rain. Now, come out tonight to support your boys in red, white, and blue attire at Arc City. Uh, the theme for tonight is America. Uh, moving on, our top story for this week is dress code. Yes, we're talking hats, shorts, tank tops, but namely short, or hats and all the other things that go against dress code. Our correspondent Alex interviewed Mr. Lewis asking him about the recent crackdown on dress code policies. Alex? Thanks guys, Alex here with Principal Lewis talking about dress code. What are some of the changes for dress code policies this year? You know, in reality, we, we really didn't make uh, any changes to the, the policy as it's been. Uh, we have new leadership team in place and, and really wanted them to have an opportunity to interact with staff and students and, and identify uh, concerns or needs and, and make adjustments from there. So uh, at this point, no change from a year ago. All right. I know there's been some frustrations with the no hat policy, but what are some of the reasons why we can't wear hats? Well, you know, we actually had uh, a couple individuals come to us uh, a year ago at the end of the year and uh, and ask about uh, HAP policy, and we took time to survey staff um, and understand, uh, you know, what some of the concerns were, and uh, in the end, um, the survey came back that uh, uh, preference among staff as a whole was to continue with the no HAP policy. We are looking at, uh, you know, obviously we do our, our HAT days uh, uh, for fundraisers, but we're also looking at some hat days uh, that would not be fundraisers. So just identifying certain days and allowing students to wear uh, a hat on those days, and we have more information to come on those. All right, and if students have any concerns or problems with the dress code, how should they concern it? Certainly any time they can come talk to myself or one of the other administrators. But uh, first and foremost, I would encourage students to visit with uh, uh, your student body president, Blake Hawkins, um, provide information to him, and, and then uh, he can uh, come to us as well. All right. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thanks, Alex. We'll be back after this brief message. Hey, guys. If you haven't already, order your 2016-2017 yearbook on www.jossensyearbooks.com. The price increases to $50 at the end of September. And now, a PSA from your crew behind the camera. Thanks, guys. And now it's time for what you've been waiting for, sports speed round. Okay, so Saturday, we have JV's Girls Tennis at Mays, Varsity Girls Tennis at home. Monday, we have Varsity Girls Golf at Crestview Country Club, Freshman Football at home, and JV Football at home. And then Tuesday, we have JV's Girls Golf at Fox Ridge, JV Girls Tennis at Derby, Varsity Girls Tennis at Heston, JV Boys Soccer at Science Central, High School Volleyball at Mays South, and Varsity Boys Soccer at Science Central. Thursday, we have JV Girls Golf at Tex Consolver. Varsity girls tennis at Andover, JV boys soccer at home, freshman volleyball at home, and Varsity boys soccer at home. Well, that's all for today. I'm Kaylee Conradi. And I'm Missy Molina. From all of us here at Hornet Studios, thank you for your time. From this time till next time.